Everywhere you go, people are more focused on doing the big things in life. Why earn just six figures when you could become a millionaire? Why date this great girl that you love when you could date a supermodel? And why just read all these books when you could write a book and be an author? And the thing is, we get so obsessed with focusing on the big things that we forget that to achieve the unusually big things, you have to focus on the unusually small things. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, one of those companies that can help you focus on the small things is Blinkist. And one of the best small things you can do every day is focus on reading a bit of a self-growth book. Now, in today's age, it's pretty tough to find the time to actually sit down and truly learn. And when it's easier just to flip open Instagram and go through a bunch of pictures when you're in line, it can seem like you don't have the time to actually read. But there's a really cool service I use called Blinkist, and it's the only app that actually takes the best insights from a ton of nonfiction books and condenses them to 15 minutes or less so you can read or listen to them and get the key points to improve your life. Now, even books I've procrastinated on, like Think and Grow Rich, I drove to a friend's house the other day and I re-listened to all the essential points in under 15 minutes. Now, Blinkist has a special package here for my listeners. If you go to Blinkist.com forward slash Alex, the first 100 people get a free trial. So check the link below. So let's talk about the power of focusing on the little things in life. After going through a bad breakup in the fall, I shared with you guys that I'm going to read the next 40 to 50 best relationship books that people shared with me on my Facebook. Now, for a lot of people, that was like, holy crap, you're going to read 40 to 50 books this year? And I just kind of chuckled because I tend to average about 100 books a year. So just shifting from reading whatever conventional books to relationship books was actually kind of easy for me. But how does that actually get done? For someone who doesn't read one book a year, how could you go to read 100? For me, the power of the little thing here is purely that I read 30 minutes before bed and I listen to an audiobook, a different one, while driving around 30 minutes during the day. Now that adds up to three, four, five, six hours, seven hours a week. And that right there is actually about two books per week. So a 30 minute audiobook, 30 to 45 minutes a day in traffic or on your way to the gym or on your way to the market will end up being that six to eight hours ish that is your typical audiobook. So that one to two books per week averages about 50 to 100 books a year. It's not something I actively strive to do. It's just the power of doing little things daily. Now, most people also want to write a book. I saw this anecdotal study where 80% of Americans wanted to write a book in their lifetime. We all know how many are actually going to write a book. I was in a coffee shop the other day and the business owner was asking me what I'm working on. And I said, my doctoral work is studying spontaneous cancer remissions. And I said, and I really want to write a book about it after. And he goes, whoa, write a book. That's a big project. And I've obviously written a few already, but the average person considers this to be a big task. And it is on some level. But the way I've written multiple books already was that each day I set a timer for 60 minutes or an output goal of 1,000 words. And I found that writing 1,000 words a day meant that in basically 100 days, one quarter of the year, one season, I wrote 100,000 words, which is about three quarters of a book. And in another 30 to 60 days, I wrote the remaining 20 to 30,000, and then the editing, and so on. So what was a humongous goal, the book, you don't ever focus on because that will stop you from even beginning. It begins with a sentence. It begins with a word. It begins with one page. And just by focusing on the little thing, my daily ritual was a thousand words a day. I could write multiple books and not be very overwhelmed in the process. I started off 82 pounds in high school. I literally weighed 82 pounds going into high school. And by the time I got my driver's license, I was so proud. I was almost 17 years old and I finally hit 115 pounds at five foot four. My license still says five foot four which is crazy. And that is when I started going to the gym. I started lifting weights my first year of college, primarily just for aesthetic reasons. You know, I hated being skinny. I hated that it was the first thing girls commented about. And so I decided to start going to the gym. And 82 pounds to 115 in college, I was probably like 120-ish. Really, 120 at six foot two, okay? I eventually grew. And each year, 
I would get results or not get results. I was putting in the work, I was doing the hard stuff, and yet showing up daily was not getting me results. But when I look back at the multiple year window, three years, five years, etc., then my weight started finally creeping up. And now when you look at the comparison, Alex freshman in college versus Alex now, and this is increasing every year, there's a humongous difference, big difference. And all of that came as a result of one little habit, which was eating about 300 calories more per day. That combined with just, you know, the genetic weight list that I was on to take time to go through puberty and actually gain weight later in life. But the daily ritual of adding 300 calories and committing myself to the gym every week eventually was the little lever that turned into getting some much bigger results. And it's still continuing. So no matter what it is that you're trying to go for, stop focusing on the big stuff and focusing on what is the tiny daily discipline I have to do? What is the little thing rather than what is that big overwhelming goal? What is the true daily ritual that is so small and so easy you can do it every day? Now, of course, if you want to work on a tiny daily ritual that has impacted my life dramatically, check out Blinkist there below. That first link is for a cheap discount code for the first 100 people that join. And you can check it out right there, the first link in the description. When you check that out, after that, come check out my most recent related videos right over there.